to my channel. My name is Clara Z. I do videos on luxury handbags, fashion, and jewelry. So today I'm here to talk to you about uh, one of my recent purchases, which is the Chanel Business Affinity Backpack. You can see that here. So this is the Chanel Backpack. It is in a caviar skin with gold hardware. So I'm just going to show you what this looks like, uh, general measurements, uh, what generally kind of fits, and pros and cons with a few modeling shots at the end. So if you are interested in this bag, uh, please feel free to watch this video. Um, if you do like watching these type of videos, please like and subscribe down below so that you get notified when I do have new videos up. So let's start with uh, the measurements of this bag. So general measurements of this bag is about um, 9.8 inches across uh, and also uh, 9 inches height and then it is about 6 inches wide. The strap drop on this part is about uh, 4 inches and the straps I believe, sorry I need to cheat a bit, is about 28 inches long although um, you can see that it is adjustable here on the adjustable straps so this one is actually in the caviar skin uh, with the gold hardware so this is what it looks like from the front so you will see from here it's got um, a zippered pocket at the front uh, it's got the turn lock CC at the front here also, so uh, you would generally open it like this, and it has a bit of a drawstring here. Let's just show you the exterior first. And it has this little kind of a hand carry strap. Here's the side and the back. The back has a um, Mona Lisa or Somali back pocket, whatever you want to call it and it's got the burgundy interior and the other side and again you've got the straps which are adjustable and if you open up the bag you can see there is a pull drawstring as so and inside has the burgundy interior um, which feels like a bit of a cloth lining and it's got the inner pocket at the back um, where I have obviously you can put things more stored away and um, it also has this kind of a oops, sticker still on there it has the um, kind of a keychain uh, which you can hook a key to or if you have other kind of bags or hooks where you want to attach to the D ring yeah, so that's what it looks inside. A lot of room and obviously in the front part you can see there is a double zipper. You can see what that zipper looks like. It's got the CC's on it with the quilting and it says Chanel on the zipper and obviously it's got the caviar quilting here and you can open that up. Oh, it's got two zippers. And here you can see, sorry, I still have like some lip glosses, lipsticks, and my Clippa kind of bag holder in case I go somewhere and uh, I don't want to put my bag on the floor. This you can order from Amazon. It's quite good. It can take up to 30 pounds. But anyways, uh, let's get back to the bag um, because I actually wanted to talk to you um, about uh, some of the reasons on why I got this bag and also I want to talk about um, what what kind of fits. So uh, one of the reasons why I got this bag is that I wanted to be able to carry my daily essentials 
uh, however I wanted to fit a little bit more so I have a lot of mini bags which I really truly love but sometimes you want to just take something a little extra like a bottle of water or you might want to carry a cardigan um, or a sweater in case you go to places that are a bit chilly um, so it's always just really good to have the extra flexibility I love my mini bags uh, but I sometimes want to carry a bit more I also like the fact that you can be hands-free um, with the backpack um, and that way if you want to be hands-free you can be hands-free and it's generally really carefree because it, because it is made out of caviar so um, as you can see the interior can fit a lot so what I'm gonna do is I'm not gonna stuff it to the brim but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a few large items inside so that you can see for yourself if um, certain item, larger items will fit into this just to give you a general idea of what can go in this bag um, so what I've done is uh, let's start off with say a full-size wallet so this is my Chanel lambskin full-size wallet um, I don't use this very often anymore because I generally use smaller SLGs or wallets because I like to rotate between my bags but just in case you use a full-size wallet it's just to give you an idea of what it looks like in the bag so I put that in and you can see there is still so much more space inside so um, let's bring out a bigger item um, some of you may be familiar with the Louis Vuitton pochette accessoire so just to give you an idea of what it looks like inside say sometimes you want to have a bag within a bag in case you want to go out so that fits as you can see no problem with room to absolutely put more items inside okay um, say um, you have a wallet on chain so if some of you have been following me this is my wallet on chain say I wanted to bring this bag and then later in the evening um, use a wallet on chain or whatever again no problems at all okay so then um, you may be asking what about a small bottle of water so this one is 250 milliliters and it's empty um, so there you go that definitely fits in there no problem um, and uh, a larger item which some of you may carry around although I don't recommend it is say my um, iPad Pro I believe this is either 10 and a half or 11 inch anyways it's the latest one so let's put that in and again it fits no problem although um, I do have to say that when I pull in the strings it's kind of like jutting out a little bit not too much but a bit but you can generally close it um, so you can see that does close um, although you'll see it's kind of like because it is a bit wide it juts out a little bit but if it doesn't really bother you it's okay although this is more of a leisure bag I don't really generally advise to put electronic instruments in this but if you really had to just for the occasional time you had to just stuff it in there it does fit so I hope that gives you a general idea of what fits in this bag there is plenty of room and it's great in that sense so I'm going to talk about the pros and cons of this bag um, as I mentioned it's very carefree it's hands-free um, it will elevate any kind of a look that you're looking to wear especially for for casual or um, borderline you get to get out for an, an evening but although this is really not an evening bag but this will basically go with your everyday day-to-day -day casual wear or um, you know very casual dinner so this works great um, so so far I have been using this bag a lot um, and uh, I have however found a few cons and so um, depending on if whether this 
um, is a con to you. Um, it, it, it may or may not work for you. So um, you may have noticed that when the bag is really empty, it's a little hard to close the opening because there's nothing to kind of support it. You need to kind of push it against yourself and then close it, as you can see. Um, another thing is that uh, when I am closing the bag, sometimes the string does kind of get in the way. Um, I mean, it occasionally gets in the way and it is a bit bothersome, um, but not really. You just kind of have to move away the strap or whatnot. Um, another thing is that uh, you need to make sure that you carefully close the CC lock because what can happen is sometimes I haven't fully turned the lock and then someone behind me will say hey you haven't closed your bag and I'm really lucky that this happened to me in uh, while I was on vacation in Japan and generally um, people are really nice there and the crime rate is generally really low so people have just kind of tapped me on the shoulder and said hey your bag is open and right away I, I, I just turn it back in so so in a way it is a little insecure that way I mean if there was someone up against your back who like just tried to open it I think you would be able to find it but like sometimes when you're in a rush and you're taking items out and you put them back in you just need to be careful that the CC lock is fully closed another con is that um, although this strap uh, you could hand carry it or you can wear it on your wrist like that it doesn't I'm not fully confident that the way that it hooks up and you can see here it's based on a little ring here so it's not detachable I believe yeah it doesn't look at detachable that I don't know how strong this is so if say for example you were carrying some really heavy items I I, I wouldn't suggest holding it with the strap like this if it's kind of like your daily essentials and maybe you have a cardigan or whatnot light items i would say yes it's okay but being a bigger bag um as you know sometimes there is the temptation to stuff it with more items and i'm not sure if this handle would be able to handle the load if it was heavier so that is also another slight con that that bothers me having said that I I rarely hold it like this um, I do occasionally but hardly I, I mean if the handle was thicker or it was more secure against the flap um, maybe I would be okay with carrying it this way but I try not to just because I'm worried about that and in general even though it is a backpack you can carry a lot I generally would not put items that are super heavy. As I mentioned with my iPad, I could, but generally I would carry it separately in um, another canvas bag or something like that because I'm just a little weary that, you know, this is not exactly like your regular um, Jan Sport backpack, which I absolutely love, um, but it can take more of a beating and more of a load and the straps are thicker um, so that you know it can carry a bigger load the straps are comfortable I would say they are quite comfortable and they don't bother me at all they don't slide off my shoulders and I like that the straps are adjustable and I really love the back pocket um, because you could slip things like your commuter card uh, or whatever you use for fast access, fast access or like your parking slip. So um, those are the general cons I can think of. Um, I've been using this bag for about three months now. Um, I don't see any kind of visible scratches. I mean, um, there are a couple of handprints on fingerprints on here, but it, I'm sure they can come off easily, which are probably more my fault. Um, but I really like this bag. Um, so uh, yeah, why I bought this bag was basically uh, because I wanted to carry a little more than my regular items. Uh, I would say the pros of this bag, again, are the um, basically the hands-free, care-free, uplift and look and the cons have to do with um, even though it is a backpack you really cannot treat it like 
a regular backpack where you just really stuff it and carry big loads because um, I don't think these bags were made for that and you just need to be a bit careful about the lock that it doesn't unlock on its own and sometimes it may be a little fidgety if the bag is not full uh, but it doesn't bother me and so far it's been uh, my go-to bag when I need to carry a little more than the regular items and so I would say overall I really recommend this bag. I really wish I had bought this earlier uh, when my essay first initially introduced me to the idea of having a Chanel backpack. I thought to myself, mm, maybe not because I already have backpacks that I kind of throw around and I tend to treat them quite poorly. Um, but having said that, uh, this is a little different. It, it, it is like a backpack, but it's it, the look is more elevated. And so far, um, it's been pretty robust, um, even after three months. And I expect that hopefully I could continue to use this backpack uh, for years to come. So I know some people also have the Urban Spirit backpack, which um, is also really nice. And I think it's um, probably more classic than this one. I think this one only came out uh, I don't know, maybe two years ago, I'm not sure how long, um, but I actually prefer this one because the Urban Spirit uh, backpack tends to be more rectangular and um, size-wise I think it's similar. Um, maybe this one is slightly smaller at the top because it kind of narrows in at the top. The reason why I picked this one is because I feel they're both really pretty, but I feel this has more of a backpack feel because um, of the shape. It kind of curves in, and I find that uh, this one is just more interesting to me than the classic one, although the classic one is also really beautiful. And for this backpack, I know so several people have the lambskin. Nothing wrong with that, uh, just that I tend to be a bit more careless and carefree and since it is a packed backpack it, it may end up banging against more people or items and so I just feel uh, better if it is in the grain calfskin. So um, I hope this review was helpful for you and if you're interested in this backpack I really highly recommend it. What I'll do is I'll insert a couple of modeling shots uh, for you to look at to see what it looks like on me. I'm about approximately 5'4 and uh, hopefully you have enjoyed this video and it was helpful for you. If you did enjoy this video please feel free to like and subscribe and I look forward to speaking to you again. Have a nice day and we'll speak to you again soon. Bye now.